Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. We have frost coming tonight and tomorrow. I'm going to show you about 10 ways you can protect your warm weather crops from frost. And I'm also going to go over what plants need protection. It's really your warm weather crops. They can't take the frost. Your cool weather crops can, but a lot of people don't know the difference. Underneath of that is a tomato plant. Tomato plants and peppers are warm weather crops. They need protection. I have peas on the right, garlic on the left, broccoli in the back. They're cool weather crops. They can take a frost. You don't need to protect them. You can just drop totes over your warm weather plants. Your tomatoes and peppers usually um, are the biggest ones that we get in that run into frost trouble. You also have in the back there, those are mustard greens, collards, and kale. They can take a frost. Potatoes. Now the root will stay fine because it's beneath the soil, but the leaves of your potato plants need protection. You can use your little um, Tupperware containers from in the house. You can use a clay pot that is a tomato plant under there. You can also buy cups. I've done this in another video before. These, This is kind of a light plastic, but you want the heavy plastic with the, the um, ridge on there so that you can push it into the soil. Uh, these don't work. I don't have the right cup, but you want the solid plastic and then you can push this into the ground. The reason you want to push it into the ground is because you don't want the wind blowing your cover away and that often comes along with frost at night is a, is a wind. So make sure you secure your containers down. In here, that cilantro, cilantro can take a frost. Beets to the right, beets can take a frost. Those are more potatoes they are going to have to get covered. Spinning around this way. We have uh, Brussels sprouts. They can take a frost. Your lettuces can take a frost. Spinach can take a frost. So you're getting a sense that a lot of the cool weather leafy vegetables can take a frost. You can use anything that you can flip upside down. There's a tomato plant under there. That is a fertilizer spreader. Cardboard boxes work well. That's a really tall tomato plant in there. Depending on how big your plants are, you're going to need different kinds of um, sized covers for them. And the whole idea is, is you're covering them up, the warmth of the earth keeps them warm, the frost doesn't get to them. If your warm weather crops like um, zucchini, squash, cucumbers, they, ca they cannot take a frost, they're warm weather plants, tomatoes, peppers, uh, potato leaves. If the frost gets on the leaves, the leaves will die back, but as long as the stems don't freeze through, your plants will come back. You can use a towel. It's really important that if you can, you use cloth coverings because when you put plastic down, uh, water condensates on the underside. And if the top freezes, sometimes the leaf sticks to the plastic, the leaf freezes. But that's okay again because if the leaf gets damaged, more leaves will come. That's a green uh, zucchini. You can use tarps. And if you're going to use a tarp, you know, you just pull it over the area. Make sure you weight it down on the sides with some bricks or some boards so the wind doesn't blow it away. Now, I have basically in there my peppers and kales. I had to take the cages down, but you can see the little markers on there, the wood markers next to that pepper plant. You want to have a stake next to your plant. So if you're using a towel or a tarp or something, it doesn't smash the plant down. It won't really damage the plant, but you just want to be careful that you don't break the plant by putting something weighty on there. Another way to do it is if you have a lot of grass clippings or your lawn's a little bit tall, go cut it now. You can put grass clippings right over the plant and then when you're done, just move it off and mulch them. I did this in another video on growing tomatoes. Radishes are in there. They can take a frost. And beans are in there too. You would think they're warm weather crops. If they're just breaking the surface, they do pretty good against frost. I saw that this year when I had uh, seeds from last year that fell on the ground, sprouted up, they took a frost. But you could drop a cup over those. A bigger tote works perfectly fine. Your nursery containers work really well for covers. I just start saving them, ask neighbors for them, and I just keep them in a stack in my garage and you just put it over. Even with the holes in it, that's fine. The heat still comes up. You know, we're talking about a light frost. If it's getting down to a bigger freeze, past 32 degrees, and again, we're talking zero Celsius, if you don't use a Fahrenheit, put on a second pot, spin it so that the holes are blocked. 
I think that makes sense as you're just putting two pots on and blocking the holes. Five gallon bucket works really well. That will protect the plant. I also have collected, and a lot of you have seen these in my videos, I just buy these vases at thrift stores and you can use them like a cloche, put them right over a plant. That's actually a purple tomato plant. The leaves are really, really purple. Your flower boxes will do the trick too. Cover them over. All these lettuces, spinach, everything in there will actually freeze. The leaves actually freeze and they mix for like a really cool picture for Instagram. But when, it, when they warm up, the leaves are perfectly fine. Just FYI, the cellular structure, the cells in the leaves, when they freeze, they don't burst and erupt from the ice particles. They do perfectly fine. If your tomato leaf freezes, the ice that forms in the plant cell damages the cell. That's why it dies. So I have really a lot of tomatoes and peppers I have to protect, which I'll be doing in a little this bit. This is um, a painter's tarp too, but it's cloth and it's about four feet wide, 15 feet long, and it's perfect for rows. And again, make sure you know that you weight down the sides and that will keep the wind from blowing off. And I like to use, there's a lot of plants under here. There's a whole row of peppers through there all the way down. Is my markers work as great supports for whatever tarp I'm putting down. If you don't you know, have these kind of markers, get some sticks from um, the woods just put them in next to the plant so that the weight of the tarp doesn't fall in it when it would be a problem would be if it rains and it's like 33 degrees and then the frost rolls in you know the weight of a heavy tarp could damage the leaves that's a collection of pots right in there that I will put all over the different plants and I think we'll end with this there are two eggplants here eggplants cannot take a freeze either so they're gonna need to be protected but I think you get the idea best thing to do is put some sort of container over it let the warmth of the earth protect your plant if you're going to use some sort of sheet you want to use a towel because it's cloth painters tarp that is cloth um, because it won't collect water underneath the water will actually absorb into the towel or the tarp and that's perfectly fine I've even done experiments where I've wet a towel down because it was going to be so windy put it over the plants the towel froze but then that created a barrier and kept the frost from getting to the plants. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope frost doesn't come to your area, but it tends to fool us all the time. This weekend it was 70, got my plants out, and of course, Mother Nature likes to play that trick on us. This is all cool weather crops. They do not need to be protected or covered. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and please subscribe. Stay safe, and I hope you have a great gardening year. Thanks for watching.